sanctified him by the name of these warriors, these ancestors of ours, we cannot go wrong. For the Lord identified himself with these people. Oh Lord, we thank you. And so I thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you learned something here. Yes. Uh, you know, I believe that some people, many people are taking this thing for granted. Amen? Amen. And I want you to know that, you know, the devil loves when we take all these things for granted. Because he want, he doesn't want us to grow too high. To get too close to God. You know how we dig too deep into the things of God. Amen? Amen. He doesn't want us to know too much about the true God. So he, he's satisfied. He, he's well pleased when we just, you know, say, well, um, I hear that there is a God. So, uh, and I hear that him say, I must baptize and go into church. So I baptize, I go into the church and that's it. No, it cannot be. That, that is it. We need to. Ah, oh, hallelujah. We need to try to learn more about God every passing moment. Oh. We need to crave to know more about him. Oh, we can't know so much that they're, 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 they're left nothing for us to know about God. Amen? Amen. And the, the more we know about God is the more we discover more about ourselves. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know that there are a lot of things about us which we don't know. Amen? Because <laughs> a lot of us don't even know that when we come truly to God, to Jesus Christ. Amen? His, his, his forgiveness, we accept it. And, you know, we accept his salvation. Many of us don't know that we end up with the Spirit of God. Amen. But Paul told us in 1 Corinthians 2 that we have the Spirit of Christ. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Oh, if it was wonderful, if you, if you did if you consider it to be wonderful, oh, your, your answer would be a lot more impressive. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Sometimes I, I understand. Because sometimes we live so much of our, in our own mind. Hmm? Yeah. Live so much in our own ways. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we don't even know what it is to have the mind of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When you have the mind of Jesus Christ, it makes you think different. You look at things different. You see things different. You hear things different. But when you have the mind of Christ, you end up with the ears of Christ. You end up with the mouth of Christ. Your words that we speak become not my word, but the word. Word of God. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. You are seeing so much that sometimes it will make your mind be confused. You have so much to encounter with that sometimes you, you are at the crossroad and you stand up here and you are wondering where should I turn? And somebody stand up sideways looking at you and are wondering if you are in your right mind. Are you standing there and you are wondering where should I go? And even you and yourself sometimes you, 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 you're lost in your own mind. But all we need to do is just say to Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Father take my hand. Take my hand. Lead me. Take my mind. Oh God. We must always pray and ask God to renew in our mind. Renew in our mind. Let our mind stay. Let my mind stay on thee, oh God. But by the time you go and pray, me say something else is coming to the ear way. Trying to confuse you that you don't even remember what you had just received in your devotion. Oh God. That is how frail we are. In the flesh. In the flesh. Glory to God. And sometimes you wonder. But you know, thank God that the Lord understands. But he expects better of us. Because he said, if you know me, if you know me, eh? then you must know my ability. My ability is that I can do all things and Paul discovered Thank God for him. He never keep it to himself. He told us, he says, I can do all things. Jesus of mercy. All things. Because Lie. See it on your life. No! No! Not because I am strong in my flesh, but I can do all things through Christ that liveth in me. It is through Him, it is by Him that we are going to be able to turn things around. Even those things that the devil placed in our way and make them look to be impossible. All oh, the scripture says, all things are possible if we only believe. All things, small and great. God Almighty, help me here. Turn! 
the truth the Messiah was talking about and you come to know what is the truth don't you see that the knowledge you have many kings and prince and what of you they would glad if they didn't have it so we need to use it use it man use it take some time out and make it get whole away and if we have to cry, cry to him. Yes. Say, Lord God, I am sorry. I misjudge you. Yes. Amen. Yes. I am sorry, Lord. I fail you, Lord. I fail you, Lord. Yes. Please, Lord, take me up, Lord. Yes. I want you to carry me, Lord. Yes. For the strength of mine, I have any, Lord. Where did we fail? We fail when we believe that we can do it without him. Thank you, Jesus. When we talk about God is good. And he proved himself to us so many times. But I will prove himself at this time. He had proven himself so many times to the Israelites. You want a greater miracle than parting the Red Sea in two parts and allow man, woman, boy, and girl to walk through and try down? You want a greater miracle than bread, manna come down from the sky? And it wasn't just for one day. It was according to the instruction of God. Amen. 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 He said, listen, I'm going to send you manna every morning. Amen. Every morning. Amen. So just in case you think it was something that happened in the midst for one day. He said, I'm going to send it Amen. today. Amen. And I'm going to send it tomorrow. And I'm going to send it Tuesday morning. And I'm going to send it Wednesday morning. I'm going to send it Thursday morning. I'm going to send it Friday morning. I'm going to send it Sunday morning. And when there was no water, he said to his servant, Moses, speak to the rock. And there will come water. The Bible said Moses get into his flesh. Amen. And when he get into his flesh, he encounter a spirit. Amen. The spirit was called ignorant. Amen. And ignorant says to him, these are some. <laughs> what did he call them, Ella? Here you call the people that God chose rebels. It's not for you to do that, Moses. But the spirit of ignorance he said to him, These are these are no more than rebels. Come drink rebels. After he refused, first of all, to speak to the rock, he uses the rod and he struck the rock. Not once, but twice. Because he got into that spirit. He, he allowed the spirit of ignorance to enter into his mind. And when it comes, brother woman, you know what this spirit does? They come to control. Hallelujah. They come to control. That means to say, anything you are going to do, you, you are going to be influenced by them. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you talk, they are going to want you to talk the way that they say you are to talk. Yeah. Their influence. And if you act, they are going to want you to act according to their instruction. Yeah. Lord have mercy. 
Glory to God. So that is why we have to try to avoid these spirits. Pray against them. Ask the Lord to help us. That we do not give in to these spirits. Spirit of ignorance. And all of that. Spirit of doubt. Spirit of fear. Amen. 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 And I could go on and on. My beloved brothers and sisters, today is the first Sunday. You see how far I've gone? I just want to uh, read the Holy Spirit of God. And, uh, let me invite you. Yeah, I'm going to invite you in our midst and I can feel that he is here. Amen. And you know, I just want to say welcome to you all in this first Sunday of November. First Sunday, the third of the 11th. Amen. Amen. I greet religious right. Amen. Amen. And I greet Ella Fuller. And I greet every one of you, my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. And I thank you much and say it's such a speak. But thank God the church is not closer. The church is open. Hallelujah. We must always, hallelujah, put on the armor of righteousness. Hallelujah. And ask the Lord to arm us with his shield of defense. But we are up against it. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we shall come out valid land today. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. And I deliver you all in the name of Jesus. From all such spirit. And you have some that flies. Hallelujah. We cut down them in the name of Jesus. Yes, by the blood of Jesus, we cut off their wings. Hallelujah. We cut their wings off. Hallelujah. The snake, we cut off your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. the Lord anointed. And so the scripture says do his prophet no harm. No weapon that form against the people of God will prosper for the Lord is our strength. The Lord is our God. And he will defend us. My beloved brothers and sisters can I tell you from this pulpit? Take not salvation for granted. I hear one preacher who is into a battle with another preacher. When he spoke to him at one particular time, he said that um, this thing is not just about salvation, but it's about Knowledge. success. Knowledge. And eh? knowledge. <laughs> Success and what a view. It's about people getting car and, and people getting uh, visa and, and people get rich and and what a view. He names out all the benefits that are there. Hallelujah. 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 Well, I know that. Uh, hallelujah. The, the richness of God is unto all those that believe in his name. However, I want to tell my people, I am not here to tell you that, hallelujah, if you carry $100,000, come here and put down and say, Pastor Ryder, I contribute this to the church. I am not going to tell you that if tomorrow morning, hallelujah, if you do that tomorrow morning, the Lord is going to send you a million dollars. And when it not come, will I not be proven to be a liar? 
I will say to you, do all the good you can to all the people. Amen. And let me tell you something. It's not all the good that we do in this life. We are going to receive the benefit in this life. Amen. It will be even surprising to some of us to the amount of good that we do and some of the things that we suffer. It will be surprised that we may ask ourselves, why am I doing good? And some people even go to the this time to say that they are going to stop doing good because of the return that they are getting. But should we stop doing good? No! There's a blessing that's stored up there for us. Amen! Amen. And it, there are some people I am going to come down on this. There are some people who want their return in this life. Amen. Amen. And as long as they get the return in this life, they're cool. But I tell you this. I rather my return come after this life. I rather my return a blessing for the good that I will do. I rather it come after this life than to come in this life and when the next life come then I hear that you already use it up. Are you following me? Hallelujah to God. Now what is that saying? Is that, am I saying that people should not expect to be blessed in this life? I'm not saying that. But I'm saying to you that don't set all your affection and things here. But set your affection and things from above. You may not be able to drive. Not even Lord and Lord again. But the cheapest of power today you may not be able to drive it. But if your name is written in the long book of life, Jesus have mercy. We are going to a place that we don't need no car. So I say to you, settle for that life. But we won't need no car. We won't need no aeroplane no. to take us to another city. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. This sound too true. Too good to be true. Amen. But Lord, I believe. Yes. Help thou my unbelief. Yes. It is real, friends. Yes. So may we all. May we all be there. When the mist rolled away. Thank you. God bless you. You better live the night before you testify. Tell it to the people.